Howdy YouTube, Darlings Farm here. It's still we're here in the wood shop and uh, brought a uh, so brought some of the lumber from uh, or the logs from that tree that I cut down last night over here. There's actually still a couple of really nice big chunks out at the farm that are probably about eight foot long uh, and are pretty heavy. They were sort of the trunk of the tree there, and uh, I got the stump as well that looks pretty good. But uh, yeah, that stuff's all going to get turned into uh, oh into uh, matched pairs like this. Here's uh, some of them that I ran here. I think, uh, and if anybody is uh, better at identifying wood, I think this is ash or elm, one of the two. I kind of, just from looking at it, I think it's an elm. Or ash, excuse me. Um, I think one of the two there. Um, the top of the tree was kind of so rotted I couldn't really tell, but I think it's ash. And um, I ran them an uh, inch and a quarter thick here. Uh, I just uh, ran part of it over the jointer and then flipped it 90 degrees and used the fence and put a nice straight edge on it there. Um, I started on this one here, right there. I'll just run it over the jointer enough to get a flat edge to run on the bandsaw. And then I'll do the same thing on the uh, joint, or uh, 90 degrees on the uh, jointer there. And then just run them through my uh, Powermatic PM1800 here. Uh, I will do an actual review on this saw, but I'll tell you now, I absolutely love it. It's a great saw. It has a crap load of power, and I've got a Resaw King Laguna bandsaw in it. And uh, right there, you can see if it'll ever focus. Come on, camera. Uh, sort of. Yeah, anyway, it actually is a carbide toothed Resaw blade. Love it. I uh, love the saw. But uh, yeah, anyway, thought you uh, might enjoy these uh, ash pieces here. Um, these actually are kind of cool looking. I'm tempted if I can get a wide one out of here to use it for a guitar body. That'd be kind of a cool, uh, you know, kind of a cool uh, Telecaster body. So I may do that here um, on one of these logs. I may just go ahead and cut it maybe about two, an inch and three quarter or two inches thick and use it for a Telecaster body. If it is indeed ash, um, that would make a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool guitar. Anyway, uh, some of the bigger logs I was noodling with the notion of I'm kind of enthralled with, uh, you know, like timber framing at the moment. Um, so I'm kind of noodling around with, uh, you know, with kind of getting some timber frame tools. And uh, anyway, so I was, I started uh, hewing the, uh, you know, trying to put a square ed or square up one of those bigger logs with a, you know, an ax by hand. That stuff's really hard. It's dry. So yeah, <laughs> not a great idea, but uh, it, uh, yeah, I ended up just finishing it out on the jointer there. And I think that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of them. But I'm kind of noodling with the notion of uh, when I buy or build a, a new building, which will hopefully be uh, next spring. I'm really hoping I can get the scrape the money together um, and hopefully I can get the Oak Street house done before then. So I'm kind of noodling with the notion of buying a an LT15 wood miser and just uh, milling the milling the logs myself and just timber framing it. I, uh, I know somewhere where I can get some uh, logs and, uh, so I'm kind of thinking about doing that. So anyway, yeah, that's kind of the shop update there. My rantings and uh, ravings here, that's my day off, but I'm trying to, I was trying to get that stuff all cleaned up. And oh yeah, the 660 there, or my uh, MS660 still, by the way, I forgot to mention in the video, it does have a big bore kit on it. So it is a 98 uh, CC saw. And I think I said it was running like 10 horsepower. I think it's actually closer to 15. I was uh, it was kind of the end of a long day, uh, yesterday, and, uh, anyway, so yeah, it's, uh, it's a beast. Uh, I love it. It'll outcut an 880, uh, which is the biggest saw still makes, hands down. I mean, it's, it's a powerhouse. It'll run a, you know, a four-foot bar buried, and it doesn't even slow it down. It's pretty crazy, so, anyway, yeah, there's, that's kind of the saw, a little more detail on the saw there. I need to do a revisit back there on the saw stop. Uh, I may be over here working in the shop tomorrow, so stay tuned. I'll try and get that up here. And anyway, yes, hope you have a relaxing weekend. I'm Darlington Farm. Thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll leave you with some book matched pairs.